الشيك تاب عليا لازم نصبر لازم ما نويت يسمح فيا ما نويت يسمح فيا عطاك لمت وندم تمنيت يرجع عليا إذا جي من القلب الهم وتبرد النار شوية وتبرد النار شوية يزول من القلوب I'm James Clayton and I'm in the airport and um, slightly hungry. England's playing football behind me, well, not behind me, but you know, in the TV. On to this next trip to Morocco, I've decided to not bring my medication, which is a real gamble and I'm quite scared. Um, but I'm quite excited as well to see if I can get through this trip sans medication. So uh, let's see. sweaty and fresh. Um, I decided literally at the last minute to leave my medication behind, which was quite scary to be honest. I just suddenly realised that if I didn't do that, it, was like, it felt like a spiritual thing. It's, it felt like um, it was very symbolic. I felt like I had to trust in the journey and if I didn't throw that away, I wasn't fully trusting in the journey and trusting in God and, and in, in the universe to deliver me, you know, and, and until I did that I felt like it was I was only halfway there, so I just feel really happy to be here, you know and I think I've really done the right thing I don't feel stressed at all, you know, and sometimes you have to weigh up what's really important and for me, what's important is freedom and without freedom, without travel and freedom to travel as I want to I'm not happy as a person and if I'm not happy as a person then you know what's the point in taking medication to be healthy to be healthier when you're not happy which in turn makes you not healthy if you understand my meaning I'm strong enough physically and emotionally to push through this condition of mine without medication and if I can prove that I can do that then it's plain sailing so inshallah let's see how this next few weeks goes
Okay, so here I am in Casablanca. Um, I don't know if you're going to hear anything because it's so noisy here. I'm just sat uh, with Jay, my brother, who's filming now. And uh, this is Han, this is Safia. She just wants to get some water. So we're in, we're basically on the edge of the Medina. Uh, so this is actually the wall of the Medina we're sitting beneath. The Medina is like the ancient part of the, of the, of the city, the old medieval part. Um, and it's been about a week now since I've been in Morocco and uh, without the medication still. I'm a little bit tired because uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff like cycling and surfing and swimming and working out and teaching at the school and blah blah blah. Uh, but I'm feeling pretty good. Like, you know, it's, uh, it's been very invigorating and it's, it's nice to just be in the thick of it really. So we are in, where are we? Uh, what's the name? Utria. Uh, Urika. 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 A place called Urika. It's about, oh gosh, it's about an hour or so away from Marrakesh, Marrakesh. There's a lovely sort of natural waterfall and a stream going right through all these sort of various small settlements and villages. Um, it's a place where lots of Moroccan tourists come actually. So I'll do some footage of that later. Um, been in Morocco now, this is the third week on the third week and uh, yeah feeling very good very healthy and strong still um, the culture sort of over here is much more Berber as they say um, and it's I really like it it's more interesting for me than the Arab culture it's a bit more it's more connected to the earth you know they sort of wear more kind of earthly jewelry and it's a bit less money money um, but it's nice it's, very, it's a melange of all the cultures will blend very much um, but it is nice to be back in kind of rural life a bit and uh, hopefully I'll capture some nice scenes of that and uh, now I'm just going to sit and have some uh, some nice bread oh my gosh that is gorgeous really nice food it's a thing called amalo which is like a mixture between argan oil um, with almond uh, almond nuts crushed up and honey it's delicious it's very famous uh, and they make it quite a lot here so um, yeah oh, it's got these new beads as well uh, 15 dirhams which is like it's not even one pound fifty really gorgeous
see the city and go around, it's, it's difficult unless you've got lots of money and you're not bothered about how you part with it. But for me, that's not really why I travel, you know, it's not my, it's not my style. But yeah, it's nice, it was nice to be up in the mountains by the rivers and uh, to be around. The Berber people are very interesting. Um, you know, Berber is not really a term that I like to use because of its uh, connotations and where the word comes from. Um, but it seems that the Moroccans use that word all the time and, and they don't really allow, they don't really have another word for the native people as a whole. Um, oh, we just stopped. But yeah, there are those amazing moments when you travel where you're sitting or standing opposite somebody who speaks not a word of your language and you don't speak a word of theirs and yet you're communicating with eyes and spirit and that's really interesting for me I just find that there's some magic that we all have in us that in fact can be spread there's something beyond words and you feel that when you travel you feel that between people and places 